And many people are still awaiting federal assistance after the flooding and other natural disasters. But once again, those still trying to recover will still be waiting for Congress to approve federal disaster relief. KCAU 9's Anna Warnicke has that story. And I object. For the second time in less than a week, a lone Republican blocked the House from passing a $19 billion disaster relief bill. This time, it was Kentucky Republican Thomas Massey. The Speaker of this House should have called a vote on this bill before sending every member of Congress on recess for 10 days. Massey objected to a move by Democratic leaders to fast track the bill and pass it while most of Congress is away from the Capitol on a district work period. But House Democratic leader Steny Hoyer says the bill is critical for disaster victims around the country. Frankly, I cannot understand why any member would object to giving relief to so many millions of our citizens who have been badly damaged by natural disasters. The $19 billion disaster relief bill would give money to areas recovering from wildfires, flooding, and hurricanes, including Puerto Rico. It earmarks millions for rebuilding military bases destroyed by storms. It also extends the National Flood Insurance Program, which expires Friday. If we don't pass something on Thursday, people will be unable to insure their homes against flood. After months of delay, the Senate finally passed a disaster relief bill late last week, 85 to 8, and the president says he'll sign it. Last Friday, it was Texas Republican Chip Roy who stopped the bill cold. This is a $19 billion bill that is not paid for. Hoyer says the delay is ridiculous because the bill will pass overwhelmingly once the House returns next week. In Washington, I'm Anna Warnicke, KCAU 9 News.